Tonight, only on Prime, the back and forth fight between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and the state's largest employer, that's Disney, has gained attention around the country, but employees who work at Disney say it is a distraction from the bigger issues that are going on at the company. Disney has made headlines, especially recently, for its progressive stance on social issues, but inside its own company, its employees, some of them say they are facing low pay and an affordable housing crisis. Senior national correspondent Brian Enton is live at Walt Disney World in Orlando for us tonight. And Brian, uh, you started to dig into this. You talked to several employees, families living in nearby motels near the theme park uh, because they say that is all they can afford. Yeah, Marnie, that's exactly what they say. They say the conditions that they're living in should be more of the conversation around the country, uh, should be part of the conversation more as more and more people are talking about Disney. Many of these theme park workers make just $15 an hour. It is not enough money to be able to afford a house or even a rental with the skyrocketing housing prices in this part of Florida. Uh, so many of these workers now live in these dirty, disgusting motel rooms, and they're paying $1,500 a month to live there. Behind the bright and shiny world of Disney, in the shadows a few miles away, is this strip of beat down motels in Kissimmee, Florida. And it's not tourists staying here, it's theme park workers. Is it okay if we come in? Room 118 of this hotel is home to a family of five plus three dogs and a cat. They don't bite. Ashley, her husband, and kids moved to Florida so they could fulfill their dream of working at Disney. You have Disney stuff everywhere. Yeah, Disney's, Disney's what we do. We actually moved down here for Disney specifically. Ashley's husband is a Disney bus driver making $18 an hour. Up there I have a little oven that I can cook in. Um, in our mark way. This was our fridge from back home that we brought with us. Um, the rooms don't come equipped with the fridges. They come with the little miniature fridges. And a lot of people, that's all they have here. With rising housing prices and inflation, Ashley's family could no longer afford rent on a Disney salary. And it's not just them. Motel after motel after motel filled with theme park workers. Disney makes so much money though. Yeah. I mean, is it ever frustrating that you have to live like this? It is, it is. Um, you know, I think they could definitely do more. Disney's revenue was $67 billion last year, but they still get big breaks from the state of Florida. According to the Orlando Sentinel, Disney avoids millions in taxes. And perhaps the biggest perk of all, Disney worked to deal with Florida to essentially have their own mini government on their 25,000 acre property, controlling everything from permitting to electricity. And it's not just Disney making big money while workers suffer. Amazon employees have been known to live in their cars, and Universal Studios workers say they're considered part-time while working 40-plus hours a week. If you don't mind me, me asking, how much do you get paid an hour? Um, $15 an hour. Is $15 an hour enough to live here? It's not uh, $15 an hour and we're in a hotel room. This woman, who didn't want to show her face for fear of losing her job, lives at the Magic Castle Motel. Is there any way for you to get ahead, to get a normal place? Mm, no, there's no way. I mean, every, all the prices, the gas prices, everything is going up. And our paychecks are not showing it, you know. We started reaching out to Disney yesterday about what we found at the motels, and today Disney released this promotional video announcing their decision to turn 80 acres of their land into 1,300 affordable housing units. Today, we're excited to share some news about a new initiative designed to address a growing challenge in our country and our region, and that's affordable housing. At this point, the plan is just a rendering that still needs approval. I'm here uh, 18 years. I've never seen it this bad. Barbie Austria runs a nonprofit and has been working with the families in the motels for almost two decades. I don't know if you've heard, Disney gets tax breaks. I know they do. I mean, they have their own little government on their land. Yes. It doesn't compute with some people when they hear about the motel life. Yes, and it's all around us. Just about every hotel, motel on this trip are housed with homeless family. Not really housed, they, they rent rooms there. 
There are no tourists on the Strip, none, whatever. They're all on Disney property. They're all at the Airbnbs. So all we have here is poverty. And we reached out to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' office about this problem. They say they're aware of it, that they've allocated millions of dollars to help with the affordable housing crisis. But just spending 48 hours uh, out here, Marnie, you realize it's complicated. It's going to be complicated to fix. Yeah, a lot of layers to the struggles that these people are facing. Brian, I'm curious. Um now that Disney has released this plan to address affordable housing uh, to some degree, the people you spoke with, did they know about it? How did they respond? So, I mean, you have to understand, it's still just a plan. It's renderings at this point. It still has to be approved. Imagine how long it will take to build this 80-acre complex. Um, so, yes, of course, there's optimism that Disney is going to do this, but it's not going to fix anything in the short term. No. Um, I'm also wondering, you mentioned uh, just a moment ago, 1500 a month for these motel rooms adds up to about $50 a night. What do the people running the motel say about their role in all of this? Well, I mean, this is the only place that these workers have to go. But I'll tell you, Marty, when you go in the rooms, and it's not just the one room that you saw in the piece. We went in many rooms where people didn't want us to film, but would show us around. I mean, you hear $1,500 a month they're paying, and it's sort of crazy because you'd think you could rent an apartment for $1,500 a month. And maybe you could find an apartment for $1,500 a month. But remember, you need first month, last month, security deposit, credit check. These theme park workers are working paycheck to paycheck. They can't save enough money for all of for that deposit up front. Uh, so they just continue to be stuck in the motels. Yeah. Uh, you sympathize with them, especially it strikes me seeing that these people go to work to make kids and families happy at the most magical place. And then they come home and, and you see all of their own kids in these tiny cramped motel rooms. But um, Disney, obviously the largest employer there in the state, have they considered other opportunities where maybe they have more opportunity for advancement, other jobs outside of Disney? Yeah, yeah it appears in many ways they're trying. Uh, a lot of more people these days are full-time, so they do get some benefits. They can work their way up the ladder. And one of the workers I spoke to said, gosh, aren't you frustrated with Disney? Do you think the state needs to come down harder on them? And they said, well, think about if Disney left or if Disney had to cut jobs. That would be even worse than the situation right now. So despite the way a lot of these people are living, many of them still defend Disney. Right, and they want that job, $15 an hour. Um, it still gets a roof over their head. Uh, Brian, as always, thank you. We'll be following that closely. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.